Is Joe Biden set to be impeached? The U.S. House of Representatives appears to be inching closer to a decision on that, with Speaker Republican Kevin McCarthy saying Democrats themselves are sharing concerns with him over the sitting president's involvement in his son's business deals in Ukraine. What President Biden told us when he was running for office is not true. He, he said he never had any dealings with his son's business, and that he never even talked to him. We've now found out not only did he call into the meetings, he went to dinner, and after the dinner, Hunter Biden got a new Porsche, that there was $3.5 million transferred. We now found out, as he was a sitting vice president, the family created 20 shell companies. Now, when you look at this, it looks like a culture of corruption. Well, earlier I discussed the Biden family's dealings and Speaker McCarthy's claims with RT contributor Tara Reid, who said that many things have surfaced during recent hearings. What did you make of uh, Speaker McCarthy, what he had to say about Joe Biden and his apparent shielding of a corruption probe? Well, there you go. I mean... They've been trying to get so much information. First, it started with the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop mm -hmm. by the Democrats. And McCarthy has been trying to talk about the weaponization of the DOJ against American citizens, but as well as the corruption um, of Biden and just how it's all inter intertwined. And with the hearings, it's revealed a lot. I mean, for one thing, it's revealed uh, bank statements and 22 shell companies, $20 million that was enriching the Biden family from foreign interests like Romania and China and other countries and as well. And, you know, you can't lie about the numbers. The Bidens don't have a product. They don't have investments in real estate or corporations. This is influence peddling and bribery and all of that that's being revealed. And it needs to be looked at carefully because of the, you know, of the seriousness of it. And look at where it's taken us as a whole nation. In America, it's taken us to the brink of World War III. Um, this this proxy war that the U.S. and NATO is fighting against Russia. So um, these enrichments that the Biden family is doing um, for their own family, you know, in Ukraine has definitely put everyone at risk. The whole issue about impeachment, you know, the floodgates were opened, weren't they, by the Democrats into Trump. Mm -hmm. Barely a week went by when we didn't hear that yeah. word. So now if it's coming back to bite the the Democrats themselves, I suppose there's not going to be much in middle America, for instance, saying, you know, you, well, you open this, so now you've got to deal with the consequences. If it's fair for one party, you must deal with it too. Well put. Yes, exactly. I mean, look at the, um, the, uh, the historical event of having a former president booked into Fulton County Jail, Donald Trump, and 19 of his associates, mm. and further, some of his attorneys. So imagine in the U.S. for attorneys representing politicians what a chilling effect that has, this back and forth with basically, you know, legal attacks from both parties. Um, and it's leading to chaos and definitely a lot of division. But again, um, if a president of the United States like Joe Biden, um, which some people call it a Biden regime because of the level of corruption, it, that does need to be exposed. And if it's correct, and he needs to be impeached.